absolutely everything. What's coming to Forza Horizon 4 in the uh, Series 36 update? Yeah, so we've got three new cars um, that we're really excited to show you, and we've got loads more chucked in the festival playlist as well, and a brief update after that too. So. Ah, amazing. Right, well, let's check out the festival playlist then. Let's see what we've got this month. Cool. So for your series rewards at 50%, you get yourself a Horizon Backstage Pass. And at 80%, you get yourself a super cool Nissan Pulsar. And then for your summer rewards, 50% will get you uh, new to Series 36, the Master uh, RX3, which we'll be taking a look at uh, shortly. And at 80%, you can get yourself an AMG Hammer Coupe. And the photo challenge for summer, hashtag friends in high places. Take a photo of your car with another player or driver tar at Glen Rannoch Mast, which is a, a really romantic uh, location. <laughs> then in doing the trial in summer, calm before the hurricane. It rides itself, doesn't it? It, 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 it rides itself. <laughs> the less said about that, the better. Uh, that will get yourself the reward for the Lamborghini Huracan P. Uh, we've also got a return of the most magical showcase remix, nine and three quarters. Uh, get yourself a super wheel spin from that. And then seasonal championships rounding out the rest of summer. You've got yourself Bon Voyage. That can get yourself a Renault Clio. Uh, you've got the seasonal event Beach Trip, which can get yourself the 2017 Aston Martin Vanquish. And then the last summer seasonal event, are we there yet? We'll get yourself a Mercedes <laughs> AMG E63. Uh, what's coming up in autumn, Dave? Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, so for autumn at 50%, you'll get the awesome Lexus LFA. And at 80%, the classic 95 Toyota MR2. For our photo challenge, we have hashtag castle in the sky, where you have to take a photo of any Nissan with Bamber Castle. Now, it's very easy to do that, but here's a challenge for people listening. If you can do a barrel roll over Bamber <laughs> Castle and take a photo, please do share that, because um, I mean, mainly for me, really, that made me quite happy. I love it. I, I, love I, it. I think that that's, that's your challenge for the week. Uh, moving on. To the trial, we have a chance to get the Holden VL Group A, and that is with the With Love from Australia trial. And if we move on, we have the Toyota Celica from 92 and the 89 Toyota MR2 as well. But you're not here for that. You're here for the brand new one, which is the Mazda Cosmo. And you can get that by completing the Mazda's Guide to the Galaxy season event. And we'll be talking about this later on in the stream, so don't go anywhere. And what have we got for winter? So 50%, you can get yourself another Horizon Backstage Pass. 80%, uh, you've got the Ford GT70. Uh, photo challenge. And no, I did a Scottish accent in rehearsal. I'm not going to do We're it. Not going to do it. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and upset and um, embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, hashtag Scotland the Brave. Take a photo of your car with the Scott Monument in Edinburgh. Then the trial American cartographer that can get yourself the Hoonigan Focus. Um, this is really my favourite part. At least <laughs> <laughs> <Street scale doing. laughs> For all the puns. Um, and then the seasonal championship Tour de Force can get yourself the Pontiac TA73. Uh, if you complete the seasonal championship Small Wonders, you can get yourself a hard to find car, the VW Gear. And then completing the seasonal championship Into the Wilds can get yourself the Hoonigan Bronco, which um, we took a look at a, a few months back. We did, yeah, it's an awesome car. Um, cool. So for spring, at 50%, we have a brand new car, and that is the 2018 Saline S1. Beautiful car that we'll be talking about later in the show. At 80%, you'll be able to get the Alfa Romeo 155 as well. For our photo challenge, we have hashtag Roiling Stones, where you have to take a photo of any Aston Martin at Standing Stones. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Please do barrel rolls, do whatever crazy outlandish stunt over the Standing Stones. Send those through. We'd love to see them. Moving on, we have the Beaches and Bentleys trial, and that will get you the Bentley Turbo R, really classic, luxurious car, um, which we showed earlier on. Um, and for our spring games, you get the chance to get the 2018 Megane RS. But that's not all. We have some more cars here, including the Zenvo TSRS. Uh, that is the really cool car with the, with the wing. If you could see me now, I'll be doing my wing uh, impression but do not put the camera on me um you can get that by doing the northern tours season event 
We've also throwing in a Yesco as well. The Koenig's Egg Yesco, you can get that by doing the Overnight Adventures season event. And last but not least, the awesome Ferrari Enzo in our luxury getaway season event as well. So that Yesco, people are people are going to be all over that. They're all over the Yesco, yeah. A, a car we introduced back when we introduced Super 7. So Ooh. yeah, three, three nice. brand new cars. Um, really excited for you to get your hands on them. Yeah, three new reward cars for the second month running, just being treated here. Uh, so we're going to do what we always do, which is uh, have a little look in depth at each car, get up close and personal. Uh, so we'll start with the 1973 Mazda RX-3. I think let's have a little look and you can tell us some uh, amazing facts about which celebrities own it <laughs> and <laughs> other such fact. oddities. <laughs> it's a good fact. Yeah, so, yeah, as you say, this is the RX-3, the 73 uh, RX-3. And that's actually the uh, the export name. Um, for the car, it was known as the Savannah in Japan, which uh, I think is when you try and like come up with a name for a car, like a, a, it's like a code name. Yeah, it? yeah, it the, the Savannah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, let's take a look inside of this because I think it's actually got quite a cool interior. Left wheel drive as well. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. um, so first thing you probably noticed that um, cool retro uh, Mazda logo. It's like the fourth or fifth iteration at the time the car was released and obviously had another four or five iterations um after that you've got that uh, very of the era wood paneling uh, steering mm -hmm. wheel very luxurious yeah, yeah very luxurious very luxurious and i can see is it say right it says rotor engine there yes that's cool. yes excellent eyes dave and if we um it's almost just, like this was planned yeah <laughs> <laughs> we jump out of the car and uh, explode it um not literally obviously uh, we can take a look at the rotary engine, which um, both of our masters actually have a rotary engine. And um, yeah, obviously, you know, typically an engine you'll have uh, your firing pistons, but with a rotary engine, you have uh, a, <laughs> I'm going to say Dorito shaped um, <laughs> Dorito shaped kind of rotors that will turn. Um, incredibly inefficient. Um, will require rebuild after like 60,000 miles. You'll probably spend the cost of the car anyway. Um, but it did allow you to get um, quite a lot out of quite small engines. Um, and the sound it makes as well is awesome. Yes, yeah. Engine. So uh, most common was the, the dual rotors. Um, and uh, you can actually do an engine swap and put the quad rotor engine in, which was um, famously won Le Mans in 91. Um, but that'll, that'll obviously give you a lot more um, bang for buck on this but yeah we have the US version in the game so it's a 12A engine it's 110 brake horsepower from uh, 1.2 litre displacement so not too shabby from um, from a car in the 70s um, yeah so yeah I, I think it looks it, it looks great it's um, yeah. we, we had a little look at the different uh, manufacturer colours we've got on here <laughs> uh, I think this one is you know we talked about Dor Doritos the Dorito theme so yeah. I'm hungry the now lovely cool blue. <laughs> There, there it is. We've gone for the, the cool lovely blue cool, Dorito. Dorito's cool blue. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's... it's got a it's, nice uh, iridescence to it as well, actually. It's quite uh, a little bit yeah, metallic. Yeah. They're nice. It's nice, not just blue. It's like blue, but extra. You know, M&S blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and this is, yeah, a rotary-powered version of um, Mazda Grand Familia. Um, yeah, that... The, the the kind of export and import names is is quite an interesting um, point on on a lot of Japanese cars and um, I think there's a similar a similar kind of um, thing about the the Cosmo which we'll get to later but yeah you can get this by completing the 50% um, of summer in series 36 amazing all right there you oh, go summer handled it. Um... it handles very well I like it. I always like driving classic cool cars because sometimes it's not all about speed. It's about class. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the yeah. journey. It's not how quick you get there. Exactly. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's all about <laughs> Dorito's cool blue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's all you need. That's what the Sunday cars are for, right? Just uh, exactly. roaming around, exactly. driving them once a month <laughs> so you don't ruin them. <laughs> um, right, well, that's the RX-3. Uh, we get that in summer. So what's next? What have we got? We've got the 2018 Saline S1. So let's see we what flavour yes, of Doritos let's take a look we've got at that. here. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is the Saline S1. Um, now, obviously, Saline are well known for 
making their own kind of variants and versions of other cars, but this is actually one that they've manufactured and developed um, themselves. And it's actually the second one. So the, the first one they did was the S7, uh, which came out in, I think, 2009, uh, and is actually, you can get your hands on in our game as well. But this is the Interesting the S number order there. The S1 came out second, the S7 was first. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had an answer for why that is, but I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is, um, what, what I love about this car is that they, so uh, Steve Salian was saying how the design, the aerodynamics were basically what influenced everything about this to, to, to make it as aerodynamic as possible. And you can really see that with the really sleek um, finish here and these really awesome curves. And it's um, it's actually quite a light car as well. So it's uh, it's got an aluminium chassis and um, a carbon fiber top. And I think a lot of the, the kind of aesthetic and design was this to make it really fast, but really lightweight. Um, for uh, to be the sort of true driver's car, um, as they say, we hop in here. I love the white leather against the orange. I think against the um, the tangy cheese. Yes. <laughs> yeah, is that the official paint paint chip? <laughs> yes, yeah, tangy cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's um, yeah, it's absolutely awesome. It's very cool. Yeah, I do you know what this is going to sound like uh, a very old manish for me, but I, I'd be really worried about marking that that cream into <laughs> that cream. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You would. <laughs> No food allowed in the car. No, all children. Eat up <laughs> children. Yeah. And I, love, I love the logo here, Salian. Just in case you forgot what car you have. Yeah. You go around <laughs> to the front and open you. it up. Oh, yeah. That's what Yeah, it is. yeah. Just to remind you how cool you are. And, and I think there's yeah. two bags of shopping you're getting in there as well. Well, yeah, you, you can, you can definitely do a grocery shop. It is road legal. You could do a grocery shop in this. Brilliant. I mean, that Brilliant. would be amazing. <laughs> Should we take it for a spin? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, combining the lightweight um sort of design of the car the engine is also mid mounted as well so that gives a really good weight distribution um again just everything they put into this design is to make it just as stylish and as fast as possible um mm. 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and it's got a top speed of about 180 miles per hour and all that comes from uh the power which is a 2.2 liter inline Four turbo, um, and that's usually about 450 brake horsepower. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's. I think they, they plan for this to have around 1,000, 1,500 um, to be built, and it's supposedly fairly affordable at $100,000. But um, the oh, yeah. when we say when we say affordable, we kind of mean it in the <laughs> not really affordable sense. Yeah, affordable if you're a millionaire sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah. But you can get your hands on this uh, in Forza Horizon 4 by completing 50% of the spring season on the festival playlist. So if you don't have £100,000 uh, lying around, you can just go and get one <laughs> in the festival playlist and, uh, and, and live the dream. And so I was really racking my brains for some uh, celebrity owners. You know, I love those. Um, oh, yeah. That all I could find that Tim Allen used to own a saline, uh, but then he, he sold <laughs> he it. He used to so. own, yeah, oh. Tim Allen. Well, he did play Santa. I know, so. boo, boo Tim Allen. He is a good guy. Um, yeah, well, I guess maybe if you play Santa, it's clearly not enough storage there for all the... the yeah, exactly. There are other Santa Makes movies available. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a favourite of the show or anything. <laughs> Uh, great. Okay, well, that was the 2018 Saline S1. Uh, and now the final reward car, uh, the 1972 Mazda Cosmo, which I love the name of. Cosmo. It just yes. sounds like, oh, it just sounds lovely, really, doesn't it? A different era. Yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, I've got a little bit here, haven't I? Um, yeah, so the super cool thing about this one, um, I think, anyway, is, and you'll see as soon as I uh, bring it out into oh, uh, the courtyard of my house. Oh. Um, is uh, the kind of retro futuristic stylings of it yeah. obviously the name as well a bit of a hint there but um, around the time uh, this car was made it was obviously a really big fascination with the space race uh, and this was massive kind of trying to tap into that a little bit um, you see like you, you've even got the the modern name on the front of the car which is um, Love that. pretty unusual as well it's like an art signature isn't it, it? it is it's it's really like cool. i'm really i'm really pleased with that i'm just going to sign the front yeah yeah <laughs> sign it um it's <laughs> it's a really cool i'm going to jump <laughs> in again because um i love getting in the car um there so is. first the, thing the you're going to notice it's yeah you've got you've not just got the wheel you've got the gear stick as well um that 
that would affect. Um, <laughs> and how about that upholstery? Ooh. Dave, what I are mean, you thinking? I mean, that takes me back. That design takes me back to <laughs> a coach trip to Johnson's coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> school trip. Uh, yeah. Bag with pack of crisps. Yeah. Apple. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so this, as mentioned earlier, it's another um, rotary engine. Um, it's this one, so unlike the other one where the RX3 was the export name, um, this one's in game is called the Cosmo, but the export name is actually the, the 110S. So um, oh. it was only known as the Cosmo um, in domestic markets. It's got a 10A engine uh, with less than one litre displacement. You're going to get 128 brake horsepower from that. Again, for the time, um, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. And and it looks so stylish as well. I just there's something about it. I think when you say the space race, it all just makes sense. Like there's yeah. just even having that sort of chrome trim that goes along the, the roof and alongside the wheel uh, the, the windows you can see here, it just looks so cool. Yeah. Um, it's got a real it style. Like it's not just sleek, it actually all the little the tiny detailing just makes it really um aesthetically pleasing. Really nice. Yeah, Dave, you were talking about like the chrome trim, um mm. just all lining around the the, the cabin. Yeah. Um we keep, like the split we light in the back as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and we kept saying uh, Jetsons. I think that name's yeah. come up before on other shows. I love <laughs> Jetsons. Um, yeah, Jetsons great. Um, there are other animated shows available. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored by the Jetsons, no. How's the how's the feel of that um, that ride, Dave? Feels good. Yeah, I mean, it's again, it's it's what I love about these cars is it's like you, you're just driving a very classy, cool car, and it's not all about top line speed, but. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I'm going to probably do a really, really bad corner now. When you say, how's it handling? Oh, that's, that's all right. That was all right. But uh, we should just take it off road and see how... I think Were we'll you going to blame the car when you, when you took that car? <laughs> yeah. A little heavy. It's a little heavy. It's, it's, it's the talking and driving. That's the... Oh, yeah, I know. Um, Multitasking I'm actually hard. making you talk. But <laughs> You're making me driving. talk while the drive. But, hey, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, right. so you can um, get this by doing the uh, Master's Guide to the Galaxy Seasonal Championship in autumn. So look forward to that. Master's yeah. Guide to the Galaxy. Love it. Uh, there <laughs> you go. That is the, uh, the 1972 Mazda Cosmo, your third reward car uh, of the month for you to add to your collection. Um, so is there anything else included in Series 36 that we can look forward to, like any fixes, bug fixes? Yeah, so I, I obviously I wanted to uh, address this. Um, we know that many players have been unable to connect to uh, online play on Windows 10 and Xbox One for several days now. I want to assure you that we have multiple teams uh, investigating the problem, working on a fix. The issue is clearly widespread. We've seen that in, in the responses. So it's, it's been escalated to uh, as a top priority. We'll continue to communicate on our Forza support Twitter when we have any updates. So make sure you're following us there. And um, we do appreciate everyone who's been reporting the issues so far. It's, it's really important. And I'd encourage you to continue to submit tickets at support.forzamotorsport.net. It's the best way for us to, uh, to track and Definitely. investigate issues as they arise. Great. Well, good to hear you are on that then. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the preview of Series 36. It will become available on June the 1st for you to download, complete, do the seasonal events, and uh, enjoy all those new cars we just showcased. Uh, thank you so much for talking with us again, and thank you for your hard work on the update, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thanks, Lee.